everybody i'm frida winchi okay welcome back to my channel basically this tutorial will walk you through how to refine your letter form using illustrator here's the thing okay then thousands of thousands of design solutions out there that you can use okay but um this is just my methods okay you might have a better you know thing to do okay with your designs right but it's just some you know thing that i want to share with you all all right so anyhow here's the thing the, uh, i would like to um you know thanks my, one of my best students in the class um, her name is far okay this drawing was done by far she's very talented right and i really love her um design here so um yeah i'm going to refine her work right using illustrators okay so thank you very much far you're the best yay all right what we have to do is of course we have to place the what the the sketch right on the um you know ai right and then lock it okay don't forget to kind of like um lock the layers of um you know the picture that you want to trace and then after that create a new layer on top of it okay it's very easy here's the thing okay for most of the designer what they usually do which is very good okay there's nothing wrong with that right but i feel like you know sometimes it will take a lot of time okay if you kind of like draw the outline okay so next thing is press p on your keyboard or just use pen tool okay typical pen tool here right and usually okay for you know typical type designer what they do they're going to like create everything from the oh i'm going to do it very quickly sorry for this okay i'm, I'm going to just refine some of the character just to make you get the concept understand what the concept okay how to refine the letter form okay sorry oops Usually it's like this, right? And it might take a long time to kind of like finish everything. And the stroke width might not be consistent. That is the problem with everything. I mean, it's great, okay? It's, you know, all right, something like this, right? And then you start to use Pathfinder, whatever. Okay, I'm going to like emphasize the color of the outlines a little bit. This is commonly done by other designers, sorry okay change the color right you draw the outline like this okay and you use pathfinder to cut the counter right inside of the character so my method is like this just take a look use pen tool again right use pen tool so if you want your uh, straw to be consistent okay what you have to do is just create skeleton in the middle of the stem like this instead of create the outline okay you're going to like adjust it later don't worry that about the precision of your work at the moment do it like this and this this now you have the main character right okay we will deal with the strip leather hmm? this round strip which is very round the strip are oh, very cute you know next just go to stroke if you can't find it it's in window and you select stroke here Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you to see. Yeah, it's stroke. Stroke is here. Yeah. So, select stroke, right? And this panel will pop up like, boo, like this. And what you have to do, okay? In this case, it seems like the end of the terminal are round. Okay, so we can change the caps to round caps, right? And then after that, um, you know, you adjust the stroke width, all right? Okay, we deal with the corners, okay? You can see that there's some apex, right? That go on top of the M here, okay? Which is, look terrible. <laughs> okay, we handle that, okay, later. Not a problem, okay? Every problem can be fixed. So, yeah, after this, what you have to do next, okay? Refine it by using smooth tool. Yay, smooth tool is here, okay? You have to cut, kind of like, select the character first before you use smooth tool, okay? You might just, um, you know, change some of the characters okay and you change the corners of the character to um round corner here right i think okay now the apex gone right it's just a um, round corner like this okay and adjust um you know the points or the you know the vertex here by just moving it around okay by using this tool direct selection tool as you can see okay now it's pretty consistent about, about the um this part right okay if i look at the shape i think you know it's pretty 
organic shapes right so you might you know just draw a round organic shapes here at the base yeah that is pretty horrible but don't worry we will find later <gasps> horrible to the point i have to delete it sorry all right but you get the concept right basically okay i will have like what no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for all the mistakes. Okay, I'll delete this part first. It's ugly. Don't try that at home, right? Don't try it at home. Alright, next. I think the lines or the stroke should be thicker. Yeah, not bad. We cut, um, you know, the counter inside the M leather. Alright. Mm. Right, and next P. Yeah. We start with this first, all right, good, all right. You can also, sorry, enter, okay. You can also just um, hold out options for max or alt for PC, okay, and drag one of, the, uh, one of the lines and copy it on the left one like this, okay. And now you have like the main structure of the character, all right. So as um, in comparison to B, as you can see here, right, the M is more consistent, which is great. So next, what you have to do next, whoa, of course, you have to refine some of the brackets here, right? I think it's bracket. No, no, it's wet thrift. Yeah, it's a combination of wet thrift and rounded thrift. So you might just, you know, fill in this part, right? By creating another stroke. Yeah, something like this. Good. P, hit P on your keyboard, right? And what? Here, 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 here. Oops. And just adjust something just a little bit. Now you have an M, Q, M. All right. Something like this. Okay, you can copy it by just hold out options or ALT for PC. Press it here. The good part about, you know, design letter form is it's kind of like a little bit repetitive, which is great. Right. All right, next what you have to do is this, okay? Yeah, sorry, my mouse is not good today. All right, next is... You have to expand all the characters, okay? Go to objects, okay? Go to expand here, okay? It would ask you to cover like whether you want to expand fill and stroke, okay? Make sure you tick both of the box here. Hit OK here. And then next, use Pathfinder. Where's my Pathfinder? Pathfinder, Pathfinder is here. I already opened it, really? <gasps> Where is it? Okay, right, kids, don't be like me, okay? I'm so unorganized here. Yeah, and you unite it. Woo! Unite everything, okay? Make sure that all the parts are united. Uh, it might be some problem here, as you can see, okay? Some of the chip uh, have some kind of problem here. You select the line inside of this part, okay? Delete it. Delete it. Delete it now. Okay, and what about this? You might delete some. All right, now it's better. Some might not be so refined here. Okay, you might adjust the corner, or you might use the smooth tool. Okay, change the angle a little bit. Okay, all right. Okay, it's not good. Then use smooth tool here. Yeah, use smooth tool. Use smooth tool. Yeah, all right. Next, just draw another shape here inside the character M. You can also use offset part here as well. It depends on the technique that you prefer. Okay, adjust the chip again. Right. Whoa, sorry, sorry. All right. A, hit A. I'm going to like move some of the line up. Whoa. My God, what happened here? All right, something like this. I don't know. You can change it later. Base your curve is not good. All right, change it, change it, change it. Something like this. Okay, not the best of the best, but you know. And after that, all right, select everything. You subtract. Yeah, minus front, minus front here. Now you have this chip. Okay, but you might have to refine it. As you can see, okay, the stroke is not consistent in comparison to what, to the 
legs or throat, okay, around here, then we will find the part, right? And we repeat this method, right? With other character. You have to come, like, be patient just a little bit, but I think, you know, by drawing the um, the structure of, you know, in the middle of the stem, it will make your work quicker, right? So this is just some of the technique that, you know, I want to check with you, okay? And feel free to check, uh, um, you know, other techniques with me as well, okay? I'm not saying that this is the best, um, you know, techniques, right? So, yeah, I know you're all a uh, great designer as well. So if you want to share or, you know, share information or anything, feel free to do so. Okay, so um, I hope, you know, you have a great uh, day. So, okay. See you in the classroom. Bye.